Okay, so this is the last video on equation. So we have to solve the equation involving the logarithm. So let us go to the first example. Okay, so for the first one, we have log 3x plus log 3x plus 6 equal to 3. Okay, so firstly, let us check the base first. So this is 3. This is also 3. So we have similar base on both of them. So I can actually combine them together. So log 3 x plus log 3 x plus 6 is equal to 3 so let us combine them so this is log 3 x multiply with x plus 6 and this is equal to 3 okay so now we can easily change them to index so if let's say you have log a m equal to x so to change this to index so m is actually equal to a to the power of x okay so m is this one over here so everything is m so x x plus 6 is equal to so our base over here 3 to the power of this so 3 so 3 cube so 3 cube is actually 27 so we have x square plus 6x equal to 27 so let us bring everything to the left hand side so x square plus 6x minus 27 and this is equal to 0 so let us factorize them completely so we have x x 9 3 plus minus so we're gonna have x plus 9 x minus 3 equal to 0 which means x is either equal to negative 9 or x is actually equal to 3. Okay, so once we have two answers, we have to check either are we going to accept both or are we just going to choose one. Okay, so let us do some checking then. Okay, so check what happened when x is equal to negative 9. Okay, so on the left hand side, I will have log 3 negative 9 and then plus log 3 so negative 9 plus 6 so this is negative 3 however for the log you cannot have anything with negative behind the log so that means this is totally undefined so this is rejected okay so now let us check when x is equal to 3 so on the left hand side, we will have log 3, 3 plus log 3, so 3 plus 6, so this is log 3, 9, and then log 3, 3, so this is actually 1, because we have the same number here, 9 is actually 3 square, so I can change it to become 3 square, and bring the 2 in front, so this one will become 2, so 1 plus 2, this is equal to 3, on the right hand side that is exactly equal to 3 so both of them are similar so that means I will accept the answer x equal to 3 okay so let us proceed with the next one okay so the second one solve ln of x minus 1 equal to 2 over ln x okay so ln x minus 1 equal to 2 over ln x Okay, so now if you see one ln in your numerator and another ln in your denominator, so same thing with a log. If you see log to the base of something in your numerator and your denominator, that will be easier if you use substitution for them. Okay, so we're going to let y equal to ln x. So what do we have is y minus 1 equal to 2 over y. So bring the y to the left hand side here. So we have y square minus y equal to 2 bring the 2 to the left so we have y square minus y minus 2 equal to 0 factorize them completely so you will end up with y minus 2 y plus 1 equal to 0 so y is equal to 2 or y is equal to negative 1 okay so now let us find out what is the value of x Okay, so y is equal to ln x. So if y is equal to 2, so that means ln x is actually equal to 2. And ln is actually log to the base of e of x. 
So that mean x is simply e to the power of 2. Another one is y equal to negative 1. So ln of x is equal to negative 1. x is simply e to the power of negative 1. Okay, so now let us check. Okay, so do some checking then. Okay, so when x is equal to e square. So on the left hand side, I will have ln of e square minus 1. So e ln of e square. So 2 bring them in front. So we have 2 minus 1. So this is 1. On the right hand side, we have 2 over ln of e square. So 2 bring them in front. So we're going to end up with 2 over 2 which is exactly equal to 1. So both of them giving 1. So that means I can actually accept this answer. So another one. Check when x is equal to negative 1. So on the left hand side, we will have ln of e to the power of negative 1 minus 1. So bring this number in front. So we have negative 1, negative 1. So this is actually equal to negative 2. Okay, so on the right hand side, we have 2 over ln e to the power of negative 1. So you can bring this one in front. So we have 2 over negative 1, which is exactly equal to negative 2. Okay, so both of them are giving the same answer. So that means we can accept both of them. So x is equal to e square or x is equal to e to the power of negative 1. So we can actually accept both answer. Okay, so the next one. So we have 2 log 4x plus 3 log x4 equal to 7. Okay, so now let us check the base. So this is 4, this is x. We don't have the same base. So that means I should change one of them. So for me, I prefer to have some number for my base. So I normally change. So I'll change this one to 4. So if I have something like this, normally I'll change the second one to 4. Okay, so we have 2 log 4x plus 3 log x4 equal to 7. So let me change the base for this one. So 2 log 4x plus 3. So change the base for this one. It will become log 4, 4 over log 4x equal to 7. And then log 4, 4 is actually equal to 1. So we have 2 log 4x plus 3 over log 4x equal to 7. Okay, so we do have one log in our numerator and another log in our denominator. So it will be much more easier if we can use substitution. Okay, so we're going to let y equal to log of 4x. So we have 2y plus 3 over y and this is actually equal to 7. So times everything with y. So this is 2y square plus 3 equal to 7y. Bring this one to the left hand side. So 2y square minus 7y plus 7 and then this is equal to 0. Okay, so factorize them completely. Okay, so 2y, y, 3, 1, 6, y, y. So I want negative, negative, negative. So it will become 2y minus 1, y minus 3 equal to 0. So either y is equal to half or y is equal to 3. Okay, so y is actually log 4x. So log 4x is equal to half. So x must be 4 to the power of half. So that means x must be equal to 2 because 4 to the power of half is simply square root of 4. So this is 2. y equal to 3. So that means log 4x is equal to 3. x must be 4 to the power of 3. So x must be equal to 64. Okay, so we can actually substitute over here log 4x. So log 4x is half. So we can check our answer. Okay, so if x is equal to 2, log 4x is equal to half. So 2 times with half plus with 3. 
and then 1 over 1 over 2 so this is 2 times with half so this is 1 plus so 3 times with 1 over 1 over 2 so it will become 6 so this is actually equal to 7 which is equal to the right hand side so that is okay another one is 2 times with so log 4x is 3 so 2 times 3 plus 3 times with 1 over 3 Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1, so this is also equal to 7, so that means I will accept both answer. So x equal to 2 or x equal to 64. Okay, so that's it for the equation, so I'll see you guys in inequalities.